In today's video, we're going to be talking about props, prop efficiency, and the spreadsheet that you see in front of you is a summary sheet that is being populated with two test protocols. The tests here on the left consist of an indoor flight that I'm conducting as my baseline. It consists of a three minute hover with full FPV equipment, all electronics running, which means I have current and drain other than the motors and the speed controls, as well as I am flying in attitude mode versus GPS hold mode. Uh, the reason for that, I'm flying within an enclosed space and uh, it's indoors and my GPS signal would not work. Now, from a test protocol, everything here on the left side is being tracked and monitored using a three minute hover, my battery charger, uh, set to fully charge the pack and report out the milliamps returned back to the pack and Based on the three minute hover. I have that data collected to the left Calculating what my flight time should be at 50 60 and 80 percent battery capacity um, And in this case, it's a 5,000 milliamp battery now the data here that's collected is as current as can be. I just finished that uh, this run this morning uh, with a follow-up of three runs, and this is the average of the three runs. Now from the blades, uh, what am I running? What am I testing? So I have the Matek 10x5, Gropner 10x5, a Gropner 11x5, and a Gemfan 10x4.5. Now the Maytech that I've been running is the uh, Maytech 10x5 carbon fiber made for the DJI uh, motors. And the motors that I'm running are basically the stock 2212-920kV uh, uh, motors. The gem fan uh, blades, it's more of a spoon type of uh, prop. This is the 10x45. And then we all know about the Gropners. These are the uh, Gropner E-Props. Uh, this is the uh, 11 by five on the uh, quad itself. I have the 10 by fives. From a data standpoint, what I'm recording is the three minute hover uh, milliamps consumed. Looking at that as a calculation uh, to get a one minute uh, use. Uh, so I take this number, uh, divide it into its one minute intervals and then I have my charger uh, percent remaining. That's a physical number from the charger. And for consistency, I am using my number two battery pack. Motor attempts are recorded uh, using a uh, infrared uh, quick read radio shack uh, thermometer. And then this is a series of calculations converting this one minute flight time based on milliamps used into what I assume to be um, I calculated uh, flight times based on of 50, 60, and 80. And my goal is to be at least 12 minutes. Now what the graphs here are showing you basically are the props tested versus the milliamps consumed per minute. The higher on the graph uh, the dots are located, uh, that means you've consumed more than the lower range. So we have the Maytech and the Gem Fan with the Gropners as being the lower consumption of uh, milliamps. And then what we have here on the right side is the flight time estimate based on a 5,000 milliamp battery at 80% of its capacity, which actually is 4,000 in total. And you can see graphically what it represents. The Gropners will have the higher efficiency based on the indoor testing and some preliminary outdoor testing. These cells here will be populated with real-time data but currently, the Gropners are leading the race. So next series of videos will be actual flights of each blade outdoor. Uh, the test will consist of a hover to a stationary height, locking the GPS, and then maintaining that hover uh, through the GPS lock until the battery pack is consumed 80%, which I have that as my secondary threshold with an auto land feature. Once it lands, that's when the time uh, will stop. So when it leaves the ground, time will start. When it lands on the auto, it will be time stop. And that's the um, calculation uh, comparison from here to my actual. So we shall see where we end up. Currently, Gropners are in the lead. 
Uh, Maytac uh, is third, and then in Jamfan is number four. Next series of videos will be coming out shortly, so please subscribe.